I see part 11. And we found out a whole lot of shit. Our baby O. She a savage. But I don't know. The letter of Magaris is after Odessa's estate. And he's tried arranging a marriage for her to take control of it after her father dies. But these letters also claim one of her suitors was killed. And nobody's sure how. Though she's been known to hire other mercenaries. It's difficult to tell if Odessa is in the wrong or not. You've returned. I hope with good news. Before we get serious, how about we finally have some fun? I appreciate your help, but I'm not sure. I thought there was something between us. At times it felt that way, but not enough for me. Let's keep our focus on what's important here. You've hired other mercenaries. Oh, just for odd jobs here and there. There's always something to be done that could use one. A man you were meant to marry was killed suddenly. I... He was probably killed by the same people who want to kill me. Uh, lying. After everything I found, I know what's going on. And what's that? You started this all. They don't want you dead because of your family's wealth. You're only pretending to be a victim. I'd even guess the man you were supposed to marry was killed by the mercenary you hired. I asked you to help me, not blame me. You were supposed to bring me the truth that would allow me to start my journey. Let's journey to the base. <laughs> you start your journey soon. You should give up. Fuck this shit. We gon' we gon' we gon' play play it the naughty way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah. You can start that after we have a little fun. You're joking, right? You just told me this whole thing is my fault. The last thing I want to do is sleep with you. Thought I'd try. So that's it then. I guess there's nothing else to do. <sighs> we can see if she can come with us. It doesn't have to be goodbye. Why not join my crew? After you sided against me and said it was my fault? You deserved it. But you still almost tricked me into believing you were fully innocent. It was impressive. Thanks, I think. Plus, your father should be fine now that you have proof they've wanted you both out of the picture. They wouldn't dare attack him while you're gone. So, what do you say? <sighs> fine. What else am I going to do? That's the spirit. Well, you know, got her, got her up on a crew, you know. No, I mean. <laughs> no, I mean. Later on, try to try to turn off the lights. <laughs> I'm such a fool. But you know what? It's it's fun. It's funny to be a fool. Um, let's see. Um, how far, how far is he? Like, is, is he right near a checkpoint or something? Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. 
Man, these mercenaries are everywhere. You know, maybe later later on our journey with her. You know, like how um on his one song. What the fuck? Friends with benefits. I wanna get them draw <laughs> from me. All right, where the fuck this fool at? Um, oh, there he is. I hear good things from my commander's mercenary. What news do you have? The Athenian commander is dead. Megaris is ready to fall. Good. The wolf has ordered the attack. I'm glad you're here to join us in our march to glory. I'm honored to be here. Let's kill some Athenians. I'm proud to fight by your side. Yes, you have earned your place. We will win the day for Sparta and the wolf. Come, we must reach the forward camp. I am ready. Follow me. We must prepare for the battle ahead. So... Tell me about the wolf. He is a great man. He will lead Sparta to victory against the... No, no. What is he like as a man? As a father? He... Uh, he is to be admired. Strong. Caring in his way. But sometimes I... Yes? Nothing. Just... He gets this faraway look in his eyes. And I sense the sadness there. He is Sparta's general. But he is also made of flesh and blood. Life cannot be lived without some regrets. Yeah, he regret throwing his daughter off the fucking cliff. This won't be like any other battle I've been a part of. Are you ready to crush the Athenians? Man, looking at this, that, at this bro, hair, I mean, the Spartan haircut, you know, the one that they got the mohawk going to the sides and shit, that looked like nothing but a lollipop right there. A half-eaten lollipop. A moon-sized lollipop. The Kool-Aid-sized lollipop. I'm ready for war. 